currently there is a very huge shift happening in the business model of startups. Almost all of the startups today are AI startups. In this way or another, they try to integrate AI features. Otherwise, they think that the clients may not be interested in the product. The problem is that every time uh, a startup or a user who is using the product of the startup is uh, using large language models, you are normally calling an API. And uh, it can be API of OpenAI, of Google, or Anthropic, or other providers. Each call to the API costs some money. And to give you an idea, if you look at the OpenAI platform uh, pricing for GPT-4.0, which is not even the latest model, for 1 million input tokens you pay $2.5, and for 1 million of output tokens you pay $10. That, this basically means that every time the user is asking something and the AI or large language model is involved and it's just normal text, the startup should pay money. This leads to the following. The freemium concept, which was used before when uh, the software as a service startups were offering a very, very great uh, uh, free tier when the user can uh, try and use the product and then decide whether to purchase uh, the product or not, is no longer really working because every time the startup gets new user, it's not just some incremental almost zero cost. It's real cost and uh, which can, uh, at, at scale, if you have a lot of users, this cost can be really huge. So let's look at the concrete example with the OpenAI. Imagine you're having a startup and your startup has acquired 1,000 users. When the user interacts with large language model, let's say uh, we're taking a chat example, you are writing a message, then uh, the startup is taking this message and sending uh, to OpenAI, uh, in the case of OpenAI, a large language model, and then OpenAI generates an answer and sends you back uh, this answer. One token is approximately four characters, so one typical interaction, a dialogue, if you just start a dialogue, you can, for instance, uh, send 500 tokens and receive the an output typically around 1,000 tokens from large language model. If you have 1,000 users uh, in your startup, it basically means that 1,000 users uh, per, let's say, 1,000 tokens uh, interaction. For each interaction of all these users, uh, you as a startup pay $2.5 for the input tokens and um, $10 for the output tokens. So this costs you $12.5 uh, for, for the startup of 1,000 users interacting with the platform just once a day. If these users are interacting with the platform at least not once a day, but let's say 10 times a day, so you already see that uh, it will cost you $125 uh, just in costs uh, you need to send to OpenAI for the usage of their large language model. I'm sure that uh, all the startups which try to build AI product immediately understand uh, that this is the problem. And uh, basically, if you do not know about it, and if you have not thought about it, you can have a great idea. But once you start implementing, in addition to the cost of the programmers, which potentially may now cost less, you should consider this super important additional cost, which will be on your product and should be integrated into your pricing, uh, which is the calls uh, to API of OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, or any other big company.